interrupting. Thanks. This is this is pretty incredible. Life with Parkinson's disease can sometimes not be much of a life at all, but a procedure performed at three Utah hospitals is giving patients new life. Tonight, news specialist Ed Yates has one man's story of how deep brain stimulation stopped his shaking and got him back to doing the things he loves. As Reggie Wells visits with neurosurgeon Peter Mon, he has no visible signs of shaking. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease seven years ago. Tremors started on his left side, then progressed to the right arm and hand. The amount of shake was uh, was disturbing to me because I couldn't I couldn't hold things that were delicate. Reggie here demonstrates how bad the shaking was on both sides before his world changed. I had a a walking problem. I, I couldn't lift my, my feet sometimes because it would feel like I had concrete shoes on. But that was then. A small pacemaker-like device was implanted just under the skin in his chest. Small underskin wires were then fed up the back of the neck to an entry point at the front of the skull. Inside, implanted electrodes now stimulate specific areas of the brain, interrupting the abnormal signals that produce the tremors. It's not a cure for the disease, but you can program the device. You can change the settings or the location of the stimulation or the strength of the stimulation uh, to overcome some of the progressive symptoms of the disease. The electrical stimulation in volts is so small that Reggie never feels anything. I don't even notice it. There, it we're talking millivolts, which is thousands, thousandths of a volt. From this to this. The hands outstretched are rock steady. At his home in this man cave, Reggie builds from scratch RC model planes. With Parkinson's, he couldn't do this before, but now he can. No problem doing this kind of delicate work. And walking? He moves up and down stairs in and out of his man cave with ease he thought would never return again. For Reggie? It was the first step in, in controlling the entire disease. Again, not a cure, but for those with progressive symptoms where medicines are no longer effective, deep brain stimulation seems to work and work well. Ed Yates, KSL 5 News. That dramatic. Now, in addition to Parkinson's disease, researchers are also testing deep brain stimulation as a way to possibly treat depression, Tourette's syndrome, and obsessive compulsive disorders. Wow.